What's up, everyone? Peace, peace. Back. Did we do this yesterday? I did that yesterday. And we said shalom to the whole world. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to Adobe Live. This is the last stream of the week. It's a sad thing, but we're excited to spend the next hour and a half with you. Uh, I'm Kathleen, and I'm here with Ashton Dewey. Welcome back. Thanks for having me, guys. I'm ready. Round Woo three. Yes, the final countdown. The final countdown. <laughs> yes, definitely. What's up, Oof. Eric? We got Jason, Jennifer, Val, of course, Esther, Daniel. Thank you for being here. Uh, we are not running a challenge today, but we are challenging you to submit your portfolios because we're going to be reviewing two of them for the last 30 minutes of the stream. So if you go over to the right of the uh, video, you'll see portfolio review tab. Check that out for more information and get that graphic design portfolio updated and uploaded. Yeah. Yeah, Sounds we were fun. talking before Ashton really likes reviewing portfolios. Critiquing anything is fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and not like ripping it apart, but just getting your mind turning and. Yeah, just, just spitballing, seeing yeah. like just. Yeah, all, there's so many options. You know. So many options. So much room for activity in the studio <laughs> right now. <laughs> uh, uh, if you missed me and Javier's stream earlier, there were some cartwheels that happened. We're watching them now. Yeah, watch the replays if you want to know more <laughs> about that. Um, so we will also be doing a chat and win in about 30 minutes. So we're going to be giving away another lovely moon notebook. So lovely. Flat lay technology. Flat lay technology. I'm going to do a little ASMR for you all. Ooh. Wow. Did that, did that pick up? Do you have shivers? I do. It was amazing. That Christmas of that paper. Yes, definitely. So make oh, sure I you see. stick around. Oh. Michael, we got Michael in the chat. What up? Which Michael? He's You're Michael? KU. Yeah, he's from KU. Do you Shout have a... out Michael Zager. KU. Rock Chalk. Rock Chalk mm -hmm. Jayhawk. Still don't know what that means. No. Nope. <laughs> Never will know what that means. Andrea. Awesome. Hi, Andrea. Hello, everyone. Cool. Love seeing people that you know. And if you are mm -hmm. watching for the first time, give us a shout out. We'd love to say hi to you. Let us know where you're watching from and what you're doing. If you're at work, if you're eating a late lunch. What is this today? Thursday? It is Thursday. It is the 14th. It it's is. not Christmas break yet. It's the 13th. <laughs> it's getting there. 13th. <laughs> Eric says, destroy my portfolio, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you really want that. Um, there will okay. be no destroying. No, just building up, totally. So Ashton, will you introduce yourself Yes. for those who don't know you? For everyone who doesn't know me, um, my name's Ashton Dewey. I'm originally from Kansas City. Um, I moved to Newport Beach in September, so that's been about four months now. Um, I currently work at um, Banks Journal there in Newport, it's a little surf fashion brand. Mm. Graduated from KU. That's why I was in Rock Chalk earlier. KU. Got some people watching. My my professor Andrea, she's the best. Amazing. Hi, Andrea. Um, yeah, and so at Banks, I'm doing. I do a little bit of the the promotional stuff there, mm -hmm. and just getting uh, used to getting used to California. It's really nice. Costa yes. Mesa is beautiful. I love it. Awesome. You're a beach boy now. Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> I like the sun. I like the warmth. It's yeah. Nice. It's a change from those Midwestern winters. Oh, yeah. I'm it's sure. Cold. Yeah. So your project is kind of about your trip mm -hmm. to California and what you've learned yes. so far. Yes. So I've been touching on just the reality versus the facade of California a little bit. Um, I just like to kind of bring that. It's kind of like a... I don't know what you call it. Like it's the opposite of what you would think that you would want to call attention to, all the grungy stuff. Yeah. Um, I had that word list that I've been just going back to um, when I was, what I was kind of rattling off of like the darker side of California. Yeah. Um, which was like grungy, the crazy weather with the fires and floods. We had just like the, the oil rigs and stuff out in Huntington, like just stuff that I didn't really expect to see. And that happens everywhere, like where that stuff's everywhere, but yeah. Just the realization and the, the realness of California versus the cameras in Hollywood and all yeah. that crazy stuff that you think of. Um, so I always like to start there. And um, if you guys have been following where we left off, oh, I'm gonna go back to my little, little yeah. list here. So today I was planning on just kind of tightening up. I've got most of my spreads done now. I did a little work last night, Ooh. tightening some stuff up. Okay. Um, and I wanna work more now on kind of the four, I call it like the fourth or fifth level stuff where it's more like headers, footers, page numbers, kind of that global stuff that ties the document together. Mm. Um, nice. So yesterday we left off, we were kind of working with this guy. Um, we were flipping these uh, images yeah. to match this type. I actually had this picture of a poster of Trump that was all 
all defaced and torn up. Wow. That I thought was fitting. Oh and my gosh. It's got like his nostril, it's so gross. Just or a just shadow. Whatever is happening here. Yeah. So I pulled that in and uh, I started to pull some more continent. I pulled another background in, so I have this um, this Venice photo with the, the Venice sign going across. Cool, it's and so it blown was, out. It was lighter, yeah, and I blew it out so it was a little lighter. I wanted to keep that pacing like we were talking about because mm -hmm. we have this very dark spread before. Yeah. So I wanted to break that darkness and kind of bring it back. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought that was a little lighter. Kind of, I was talking yesterday too, before it was a little um, low on one side and I wanted to kind of even that out and right. have something go up here so that photo just worked the best. It had this oh, perfect. little cloud cover up here. Wasn't the fart there before? Yeah, the fart was there. Now the it's like a squiggly. different kind of fart. Now it's, yeah, it kind of is like a little <laughs> smoky thing going That's on. That's cool. We've got Rachel Roth in the chat saying Rachel. swaggy boy. Hey, <laughs> swaggy hey, Rachel, boy. Um, an Adobe Live veteran. Mm -hmm, Rachel's been is. with us, an amazing designer. Bad, uh, Yes, very fashionable I took as well. notes from her, she's very good. Yes, go check her out, click her um, little face, go to her profile. Oh yeah, definitely check out Rachel's stuff, so cool. Um, so then I was working with this very symmetrical um, mm -hmm. layout and I thought it was kind of a break from this kind of stuff. And I wanted yeah. to go back later on and do some more asymmetrical stuff, just another way to break that pacing. You yeah. wanna work with changing the compositions and kind of the, the tone and color. So there's just multiple ways you can do that. And um, I went ahead and kind of started playing around with some type on a path. This little code was like, oh, I want some of that chain type here. Gotcha. So I ended up starting to play with this and I didn't realize guys that you can go to type on a path options and you have all these weird things you can do. You can like, mm -hmm. it's just like I, I was just working with it in the traditional and it's called like rainbows, like the normal kind. All right. And I saw this and I thought it was just so cool. It made like this picture frame yeah. kind of thing. And I was like, that just works perfectly. Experimentation, you know, Man, it happy like accidents. In a limited like manuscript. Like it's very- Yeah, it like, reminds me of like decadent. old, yeah, like medieval style mm -hmm. looking stuff. And mm -hmm. I just thought that was really cool. And I pulled this, um, this little Pine Knot Motel sign that I had and I saw the word crux and I like kind of think of that. It's like a turning point, but I also was thinking uh -huh. of just like something like a pinnacle. Yeah. So I thought that was cool and I thought it fit. So I wanted to kind of wrap up these spreads so I can start working on this this fourth level stuff for you guys and kind of kind of tie this stuff in. So if we remember, I was working with this Baskerville here and this light um, black letter, but I also had a little Helvetica here and I think maybe pulling that somewhere, maybe a little subtler. Yeah. I want to play with what happens when you do a global effect on a page number and see if that actually translates to the whole document. So let's find out. I'm going to go into my master pages here. I'm going to see what we can do, see what we can play. So I'm going to have to kind of, right now I'm just going to experiment to see how this is going to look and then I can go decide where I kind of want these page yeah. numbers to sit. If I want to change up where they sit on pages, if I want them all to sit in the same spot. Right. Um, so you, I know I'm gonna go to special characters, and then we'll go symbols, but I don't know. Markers, current page number. So that just gives you basically this little symbol A, and that just means it's gonna insert the page number that you want. And it's I'm not gonna do anything cool. crazy like I've done in the past. I've added um, like a page number for one through 10, and I'll do like a zero in front, and then for the rest, like oh. I'll just take the zero away, because it's double digits already. Yeah. So if you want to keep something the same amount of digits, you can always do that. But for this, I want to keep it pretty spontaneous and mm -hmm. kind of fun. So I'm going to go back to that Helvetica new. Sprinkle that Helvetica in there. Mm -hmm. Just a little. Just, Just a wee bit. I'm going to see what weight we want. I was thinking I'd keep it small, but maybe even go big. But so I was imagining doing some like skewing and stuff, like really weird stuff. Than uh -huh. this. Let's see um, if it stays universal. Yeah, so if you go to the free transform tool, there's this shear tool, and you can kind of just, okay. Oh, oh, what's oh. going on? Oh, hello. That's, that's the wrong way, but it looked cool. <laughs> you did it wrong in design. Yeah, it, Sorry looked, to say. it looked cool. I don't know how that's doing that, though. <laughs> interesting. Very that's interesting. what I wanted, kind of a flattened out look. Like going that. real fast. So I want to see now. I think I'm going to 
think I wanted a little bigger or something. Nice. So um, Viani says that she's not typically a fan of this kind of style, but yours is so clean that she wants to try it on a Vaporwave edit. Vaporwave. Cool. That sounds cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is not my style either. <laughs> no? You seem so comfortable with it. Uh, I mean, I've looked at a lot of stuff. I wanted to do this kind of stuff, mm -hmm. but I'm usually so rigid and clean, and I love I'm, white space is my best friend. So, <laughs> cool. You know, it's a little hard. So now I'm going to go see, like, Big reveal, guys. What's gonna happen? It hey! does. It does work. So it will throw in whatever effect you're doing. So now, now that opens up. So what this is hitting that? in this corner. Not really. I kind of like where it is, but we could do something else too. Maybe we'll do. We have, right now we only have the odds going, which is kind of nice. If you wanted oh. to do like both sides, you would honestly, or honestly, you would actually <laughs> just add the. <laughs> to be uh, honest. The little guy back over here. Oh, okay. So, like, if you wanted to do another one, you could go here if you wanted to do, like, a pretty traditional, but that doesn't seem to really go with what we're going for here. Right, right. You know? And I don't know, oops. Okay, my bad. Yeah, now I'm kind of like, what can I do with this to make it just, like, even crazier? How big do I want to go? How small do I want to yeah. go? Yeah, Chad, if you have any ideas on how we can really kind of corrupt this pagination, let us know. It's I like corrupted. that word. <laughs> That's a good word. Yeah. I'm really just corrupting this document. You are. I hate when you virus. get a corrupted document. That's the that's the worst. I had that with my my uh my resume recently. Oh no. And I luckily, guys, back your stuff up to Dropbox. I had an old copy. I didn't have to restart all the way. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Man, this so is what nice. a corrupted file would look like. Like all the images blitzed out and crazy. <laughs> yeah. That'd be a cool corrupted <laughs> Missing file. links. Mm -hmm. I kind of like it now. This is bleeding. I wanted it to, to bleed a little more. I kind of almost could see it being up here, kind of in uh, the middle, too. Yeah. But I'm kind of enjoying it in the corner, but that's such a such a typical thing to do. It's know? very typical. Don't Let's be a poser. Can do. <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> oh, yeah, and we don't want it on this, so it's going to take that off. So just put the, the no uh, master page on that cover so it doesn't oh. cover it. Mm-hmm. Same thing with the last page, I'm sure we need to do that. Just to make sure we're not getting some, I know this is page one. Yeah, that's how it be. God. <laughs> I'm not an idiot don't in design. Me. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm really enjoying this kind of funky thing that's happening. And we can also start playing with maybe some, some type too. So the title is Hollywood Babylon, so maybe we throw that in real tiny. All caps again, because we gotta stick with that. Hooli. Hollywood. Hooli. <laughs> Do you watch Silicon Valley? The TV uh, show? No. Oh. There's a company called Hooli. It's supposed to be like Google. Hooli. Hooli. I think oh, it's okay, called Okay, so it's like based on. Oh, this. Okay, so it's like based on the tech companies. And yeah. Stuff. Yeah. It's very accurate. It's kind of astonishing and hilarious. Like, like in a negative way. Mm -hmm. or... Like it's a satire and it's really. It's perfectly, it's on the nose for sure. It's pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one, since this is gonna be like a header footer, I wanna keep it pretty small. I'm gonna go probably like, my body's been 12, which is a little big. Typically you want like nine um, font size, 12 letting with, with body. It's just like a baseline and then you can go from there depending on your your font. I think I might make this real, well, I don't know if it'll be legible that tiny. Eight, and maybe start playing with this uh, weirdness that's going on again, too. Mm -hmm. I saw recently um, a public library project, and they were actually mixing Helvetica in, in a in like a Baskerville, like, serif kind of font. Really? And it would, like, made word change to the other one. Mm -hmm. But so they had this whole stack of whole stack of words, and it really created this, like, almost gradient of, oh, of weight through yeah. it, the way they did it. I mean, it was, it looked random, but I could, when I started to look at it closer, I could tell. Yeah. So that's for a public library? Public library is a, it's a company. Oh, Actually, I was like, um, a public library? The guy that leads public library, um, uh, Marshall Rake, he's actually one of our professors at KU's oh. son. So it's kind oh. of interesting. So I know his dad, Lance. You know, Mr. Rake. Yeah, Miss, <laughs> Mr. So I was thinking I wanted to do some, like, since most of my types go horizontally in this, besides the um, intricate stuff, mm -hmm. I wanted to kind of play with some little little vertical stuff maybe tucked in here. Ooh. 
There's a gutter. Yeah, how do you imagine this bound? Is it just staples or just folded? Yeah, I was imagining so. just a staple saddle mm -hmm. stitch, so I'm making it, um, if you guys can see, in a, in a count of, of 16 pages. So when you do saddle stitch, you wanna keep it in like a multiple of four, mm -hmm. so that way, when saddle stitch, all the pages will get mixed up so that way you can kind of nest all the pages together and fold them yep. and they'll be in the correct order. Mm -hmm. So if you ever want to do saddle stitch, just remember multiple is a four, you can go 20, 24, like I just picked 16, keep it short and sweet. Yeah. You know, felt good. So I'm kind of liking where this is. I'm trying to think of um, something else I can say, maybe do something else, but I kind of like this, this balance. And I just made this italic instead, but we can do some effects too later on if we want. Yeah, see so how it looks. I'm gonna go with medium, because I think, oh, nothing. Medium. Oh, I don't need that. Uh, Great. So now I'm just gonna see kind of where this sits. I probably won't put it, obviously, on, on this page, the title page as well. Yeah. I think I probably wouldn't need numbers and I, I think we're probably gonna lose it mostly to these foot these overlays mm -hmm. but like that one kind of sits funny that sits nice yeah there. takes up and the it's space adding well. that it's adding like another little level there mm -hmm. I think we could go smaller with it Let's go back to that. a little smaller it's a little yeah I don't know if I want to go to six maybe seven seven point nice. I think six is like probably legibility max, mm -hmm. what you say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like any, if you guys are wondering for business cards or something. We were talking about that earlier. Like, what size do you use? Yeah, that was a weird thing. Like, business cards are a whole nother beast. I was always like, so I'm gonna actually push the H down and have this guy hang down here. Nice. I can't fight my hang, <laughs> hanging punctuation. You cannot. Teachings. <laughs> Man. It's really hard to fight some teachings, you know? It's like ingrained in you. Yep. This is how I do it. Totally. Yes, yeah, so I'm really enjoying that little sub level here. I think it's small enough where it gets a little different from here, and I think maybe this could even go bigger, um, which is a non-traditional thing to do too. Like, yeah. usually page numbers are supposed to be little and not really a big deal. Like not I, decorative. I just think it's kind of funny to just do the opposite of everything in this in this <laughs> book. So, You're so contrarian. <laughs> I like. I, that's the whole like theme. Is just yeah. like yeah. It's kind of just like. Play devil's advocate, kind of piss some mm -hmm. people off with my. <laughs> people should be angry about graphic design. <laughs> Rebellious use of type over yeah. here. I mean, it's not like I'm the first one who's ever done it, so. You know. It's really fun. You're doing it ironically. Yeah, and I, th I want to play with kind of how these are going to bleed because all the numbers are going to bleed a little different, so let's just True. kind of. It's kind of a guess and check game at this point. We're just going to see like how they Ooh. tuck in there. That's kind of interesting. It sits there. really well in there. The seven, the nine, they're getting a little legible. Yeah. Gone. Can't see this one. <laughs> but it's kind of nice that I keep like, okay, so I'm, the double digit ones look like those are gonna be, but I like what it did here. Like it kind of balanced my spread. This is an unfinished spread, obviously. I'm just gonna keep the gray boxes here. <laughs> um, oh, a little peek in the back oh. cover. <laughs> Close your eyes. I'm gonna go back and just pull that in just a little. Just a little. Mm -hmm. Little bit. Totally. I'm not sure if I want to keep um, the page trimmer this. What do you think? I think it's looking, what do you think? I kind of liked how simple it was. Yeah. But I like it on all the other pages, really. I like that where these are kind of sitting now. The nine is like barely hitting that. Right. Getting are a you, tangent. I know. On purpose? Should we just push it up there? Just a Especially. little. Just a little. Just a touch. Just make it touch. Uh, Milan was saying that this reminds them of Red Hot Chili Peppers. Like oh. Gig posters. I'm sure that I have some weird influences from them. I yeah. I used to love them in like middle school. And, I mean, who doesn't love the Chili Peppers? Yeah. Still. <laughs> They're still making music. I think they started to be a band in like 84. Oh my gosh. Which blew my mind when I it was like, oh, it wasn't even a thought then. Yeah, it my wasn't even a thought. I hadn't graduated sparkle. high school when they started to be a band. What? Weird. That is. So well we're losing said. this guy. Actually, so it, this is just like kind of knowledge of most people. Like when you're when you're using um ones or like in dates and stuff like mm -hmm. 1996 or anything that's a 1900s date. You want to like always that one always gets that gap there in between oh. the five. So you always want to pull that spacing in. But I'm not really sure how to do that with a page number, if you can oh, adjust that. right, because it's just symbolized as A. I mean, I guess I could 
like, yeah, you can't really click in. Yeah, so I'm not sure. Maybe I can go in here, and I bet I can just do like, um, pull in the yeah, just a little see bit. if I can just pull this in. Let's go negative 100 with it. Let's try it there and see what that does. Cause I want to pull like the 15 and stuff. Is oh yeah, it, I think it worked. It pulled it in a little more. Yeah. Maybe we go even more. Yeah, that actually worked a little. Cool. That's so interesting. I didn't know you could do any of this. So interesting in design. Happy accidents out here. Mm -hmm. That's what we're working with. Nice. Pretty fun. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go 150. Really just crunch those guys. I have just have this kind of congestion of yeah. type going on anyway. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe I can play with that here too. And just those, those connections that you can make with more of the the emotion you can evoke with type versus yeah. its legibility like you don't need to be able to read this page number but i think it can always work to your benefit to kind of hark back on a theme so i think i might just pull those into where they touch each other cool and just have this weird like almost make it a shape versus exactly. um anything else so yeah what is that i'm just gonna go back to this again and go oh okay w <laughs> Maybe not. Trying to do W to get rid of that that preview mode, so. Uh, uh -oh, but yeah. I actually just typed a W. That, <laughs> that always just, happens with text boxes. Just add a W in there. It's always like Z. I'm like, no, Command Z. What are you doing? Yeah, you're like, oh, and then text box. Gotta, Oops. Gotta focus. All right, so Moonier. See. see you later. Thanks for hanging out. And we're not touching yet. Maybe I should just go 500. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, just really OP. We're just going off that deep end over here. Oh, it didn't, it didn't work, that's why. I'm just gonna bump it up there. Okay, Let's yeah. see. Yeah, okay. Boom. Oh yeah, that 11 is getting funky. It's <laughs> just <laughs> like barely peeking out from behind. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, look at that. That's cool, I like it. What is it. that? <laughs> what is that freaky it's thing? It's like the Mickey Mouse Disney Channel. Yeah, <laughs> conspiracy. We're back, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. The Raven, have you I seen that? I do that, that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a, she was pissed when she had to do that. <laughs> She's like, what is this? So stupid. Just a little more. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Linus. Thanks for hanging out. We're about to do our chat and win in about seven minutes. So stick around for that. Oh, Sweet yeah. Chance to. Just barely touching it. It's beautiful. Less Mickey Mousey. And more uh, something else. -y. Yeah, that tension is nice, though. Mm -hmm. Using tension in a way that most people want to know, too. Okay, so that's looking cool. Most of the, I kind of like how that's peeking through here a little bit. Can you even see? Just adds like a weird. Oh, double layer. Weird texture. Yeah, you won't really know until it's printed out mm -mm. how it yeah. actually looks. I was actually, yeah, I was wondering. I ca it's kind of cool how it only says Hollywood here too. Like yeah. you just, you never know where these are going to sit. I kind of mm -hmm. just like guessed on these and kind of got lucky with yeah. where they're sitting right now. And mm -hmm. I'm enjoying it and it kind of pulls this guy in. You just get some weird shapes. Love got it. that little. Right at the liking corner. That. Yeah, so I'm thinking those are being those are pretty cool. I think I'm gonna take them off this page. I kinda want to do and I can't decide. It's not so bad. Maybe I'll keep it. Yeah. What would did you kinda want to do? I was thinking maybe I could create another master page and just maybe just have the title here and take that away. Uh-huh. But now that I'm looking at it more, I'm kind of enjoying it. Yeah, Almost so that is the this cover. Day. This right? is the title page. This oh, is oh okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So I took this straight from here because that's part of the title. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to keep this kind of theme going with these like weird crosses and kind of like yep. medieval look mm -hmm. that's going on. Yeah, it reminds me of those manuscripts and stuff. Yeah. I think I'm going to jump back in. I'm kind of enjoying this fourth level stuff. So maybe if I have an idea later too, you can kind of and I think another level that I've been doing is just these weird penciling in. And if I were, if I had time to scan in, I probably would um, go and make these shapes just right. with an actual pencil and then scan them in and put them in here. But I mean, I kind of like how how expressive the pen tool can really mm -hmm. react to you. I mean, it's a little sharp here, but it just goes with that whole crux thing. I mean, yeah. I'm just kind of embracing the ugliness of this. There's a lot of sharpness. <laughs> this kind of style that I've been doing. Yeah, so did you know that there's music playing? behind no. us. What music? It is Andrew Apple Pie Chill Hop Radio. I like that show. I was I think I was watching like the yeah. intro after the little and I could hear some like background. Yeah. Yeah and so I was actually thinking too last night I've been doing this 
um, a lot of centered up stuff, and I think I can do a mix of. Uh, so I did a get okay. I did a left to line here, so I did have that balance. So I think I just wanted to make sure I set a precedent earlier that I'm I'm not just doing something once. I want to have that cohesion yep. still. Traditional type rules in a non-traditional <laughs> way. <laughs> Gotta keep the rules so you can yeah, break them. Yeah, and this this uh, scribble thing here was just for me to be like, oh, put body type there, but I'm kind of enjoying how it's just like messing up what you read. Right. So it's a good scribble. I might just keep that too. And I like, so I just want to make sure I had something else that was left aligned like this. Gotcha. Cause I'm, I'm liking the left aligned here um, overlapping. So I'm going to go in and start building this guy out. Um, and I think that'll be the last spread. I'm kind I'm enjoying where this is, I mean, look at that. Like that's just like almost babble. Yeah, bubbly. I like where those are just kind of sitting somehow. Like I kind of got lucky there. Yeah, that's amazing. Beautiful thing about design. So I'm gonna make sure, I, I literally just pasted this in last night and didn't really do anything else to it. So I wanna make sure that it is not hyphenated since we're working with a minimal amount of type. If you had a huge um, like body type set of like a couple columns, it's kind of hard to avoid hyphenating at least a couple times to yeah. keep a good rag going. Yes. Um, and I like to work with a non-justified, so I have that rag anyway, so it's kind of nice. I'm gonna push this where it's just barely kind of clipping that. And we're not working with uh, baseline grid today just because I think that would be too restrictive with something this experimental, but usually I would have a baseline grid on as well to make sure my letters are lining up across the page if you had something yeah. else going on or a title. Mm -hmm. You want a baseline align that stuff. Man. So this, what was this one about? This was about, they blind us, mm, doors, door passage, soul free stuff. So maybe if, I'm gonna go find some imagery that kind of fits with. Cool, let's go to the gallery. This. The Trump. Ugh. He's very blinded in this. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Um, you did so that, yeah. didn't you? You what? defaced it. No, I actually, I saw it, and sure. somehow, I don't know how you, like, you can tell it's him. I think it's the hair. Totally. You're just like, how can I still tell <laughs> that that dude is, it's, he's everywhere, man. He's you can't give well designed. Him. He's everywhere, and it's really, <laughs> it's really annoying just to be like walking around and you see it, and you're just like, why do I need to, I see him 24-7 on TV. That person felt the same way. You know? <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing some, I mean, I don't know, I guess, what it was before. It looked like not a flattering photo anyway, yeah. so I'm sure it was neg like always negative. But it was like anti Someone just propaganda. couldn't stand it. They were just like, gotta take it down. <laughs> so I wanna go with that, got off my train of thought here. What was that language? The door, the passage kind Blind. of thing. The blindness, that would've worked well for that. This guy too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. I'm enjoying these. I didn't get to use any of these Venice Beach photos. Ooh. Yeah. Make it happen. Cletus says that we have some amazing talent this week. Ashton is Thank an example. You. Been you. catching up on every episode since yesterday and today. Love it. Keep it coming, Adobe. We will. Yeah, we will. Just because of you, Cletus. Actually, next week is going to be XD. So we're going to be focusing on mm. uh, prototyping, screen design, web design, all the good stuff like that. And if you've never tried it before, you should just come check it out anyways learn a little bit. Uh, Adobe XD is an awesome program. I use it for making presentations like all the time, but I, I am not. Used it yet. I really want it's to. It's cool. Though. Cause that's for, it's doing for, it's for like websites and stuff. Yeah, sure. mobile apps, pretty much anything that you would want to prototype and have some movement in between. I saw um, when I was TAing, I think one of the students, I think his name was Cole, was working with it and it was, oh no, I think he was working with Dreamweaver or something, one of the older oh, ones, but we started to job. talk about XD and we got to like look at, look at it a little and it was crazy. I was yeah. like, this will make life so much easier. Yeah. And it like translates it a little more to someone who's gonna go build it. Exactly, out. yeah. So you're not just nice. an illustrator kind of throwing shapes around. I mm -hmm. mean, you gotta know pixels and stuff. It's a little, right. a little harder. So that, that um, passage was talking about a little bit of like freedom too, the soul freeze itself. Uh -huh. um, so maybe just like shapes that remind me of doors and passages. I kind of like this one, because I'm just framed up on this house. Nice. And I like all these power lines. So I think for this light I needed four images. I liked this place. Oh. The brig, the, isn't brig like a jail? Yeah, kind of a ship. This was in Venice too. This was, I, I went to Venice before I moved because I was planning on moving there. Mm -hmm. 
It didn't um, work out, but it was fun. They just awesome. have beautiful beaches. I think there was a cool one of one of those guard towers in here, yeah. So I might pull that one, so that's three. Guard tower, that sounds like menacing, but it's like a lifeguard tower, like yeah, that's it's a good thing. Safety, <laughs> safety guys, yeah, safety first. Ooh. Uh, like this one. People are getting excited for the chat and win. It's about that time. Oh yes, that Amazing. Notebook. Yeah, so we're gonna be giving away a notebook in just a mom, as soon as we get the signal. Okay, we need that fourth image. Oh, 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 we're done. Ooh, I have it behind my head. It's time. Don't go away, planet. I need you. Little bubble. Oh, I got some. Bah, bah. Welcome to Disney Channel. Those are <laughs> copyright dash. Amazing, I know. Shoot. <laughs> uh, chat, this is your chance to possibly go home with something amazing. We're going to be giving away one of these amazing hardcover Beautiful. flat lay notebooks from Moo.com. If you don't know Moo, it's a great way to get your business needs printed, created. They got stickers, they got tote bags, nice. cards, business cards. Yeah, a lot of Would amazing things. Would recommend 10 out of 10. Yeah, well, me too. And... I've spent money there and I did not regret it. Mm -hmm. So check it out, flat, 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 flat lay. So let's ask them a question and when you yeah. answer it in chat, you will be entered to win, so you only need to enter once, okay. it'll be random. What do you okay. want to know about our chat members? Mm, that's a good question. Yesterday, I think I asked favorite Christmas song. Mm -hmm. That was a good one. Mm. We should just do favorite, we do favorite uh, Adobe program. Yes. Because <laughs> there's always just that, that like, that, uh, Tension, you know, like mm -hmm. some people are just illustrator and they're just like diehard illustrator. Yeah, like fans. I hate everything some else. Some people are over here <laughs> diehard in design. Why would I ever use Illustrator? I've mm -hmm. never opened it. Yeah, why would I? So let us know I'm your interested. favorite programs and why. We'll be right back. I love that. Let's see what our favorite programs are. Lots of InDesign, that makes sense. Um, oh, Illustrator. A lot of Illustrator. Boom. Man. Row, oh, we're going back. I'm I saw someone once they had their Instagram handle was like their name dot PSD. I thought that was really funny. Yeah, I was like, I love that. that's clever, dude. Yes. Nice. Photoshop's definitely my fave of the desktop apps, but I'm a mobile app <laughs> kind of gal, to be honest. Photoshop Sketch, Illustrator Draw, Capture, those are good ones. <laughs> those are good ones. They're all good. They're yeah. all good. But honestly, which one is your favorite? I was just having this debate like earlier with myself. I think with it myself. depends on what I'm using mostly like r recently. Mm -hmm. I think if we're gonna like say it, like I've used Photoshop for the mo like most of my life because I was using that. Like that's like the most inviting one. Yeah. Well, it's not inviting at first, but like it's the most, I don't know, you can just play around yeah. with that. So you're infinitely. like, ooh, art. And it kind of gives you a gist of like how Adobe products work. I mean, that mm -hmm. was my entrance to using that stuff. Me too, same. Oh. Oh, so we it? have a winner. It is Mac Carlo Crusanta. Congrats, dude. Congratulations, Mac. If you're in chat still, let us know what your favorite program was. I didn't see it. Uh, be on the lookout in your Behance messages because Adobe Live is going to message you with the details on how to get this notebook. And chat, I know this is the last opportunity to win a notebook for the week, but Never fear, we have a discount code for you from Moo. If you go to moo.com slash Adobe Live, you can enjoy a discount and also peruse their holiday collection, which is limited edition. So get your eyes on that soon. Eyes on the prize, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> totally. Eyes on the prize. People so are now, saying Microsoft Paint is their favorite. That, well, that's an early one. Yeah. It looks <laughs> good these days. Though, guys. Come on. No, it's not. Okay, so we got <laughs> some... Some things working here. I'm trying to, I kind of pulled these images, kind of planning on focusing on this door kind of thing. So anything that has like a doorway, I really loved this. Just this shot. Here. Yeah, that composition is cool, like stair steppy. Yeah, it's just I, I love just all the, the power lines and stuff. I want to keep enough of some of this stuff, so I'm trying to think how to. Um, so now I'm just making those adjustments to make sure, like I obviously I want to keep that door showing in this one. That's a little house in Costa Mesa across from, across from Paul's house. Shout out, Paul. There's my <laughs> old, old boss at um, the Art and Frame Express out there. Now we all know where Paul lives. Yeah. Paul's, a, 
That was cool, man. It's awesome. Shout out to the whole Arden, Arden Frame Express fam. Okay, so I'm just kind of getting these sized up, seeing where they're gonna get cropped before I start editing them. We just had a main major spoiler spoiled in the chat. Uh -oh. uh, Jason Rose says there's no such thing as Santa. Oh, Santa. debate. What? Oh. I didn't say he was right. I just said that he said it. <laughs> didn't say that he was right. <laughs> it's a thing he said with his mouth. Who would say such a thing? <laughs> Joseph's like, hold on, I'm calling my mom. <laughs> <laughs> my mom said <laughs> that it is. I never believed in Santa. Never? No. I like knew from the get-go that that was not a real thing. I was always like playing like, what, what was that? Uh, Sherlock Holmes. I was like, well, dad, if if the bike's here, they're like, what? Like I would always mm -hmm. be like, there's no way. Like I was How like a little How did you get it down lawyer. the chimney? Yeah, I was like, there's no way. And uh -huh. he was just like, I don't know. <laughs> like playing coy about it. And yeah. I'm looking back, I'm like, wait, I was dumb. <laughs> You'd be like rushing around like in the morning, like I gotta catch him before he like leaves. Oh, he's oh long gone. So Cause he funny. was never there. <laughs> yeah, never, he was never there. <laughs> no? Or was he? No, he wasn't. You gotta become a parent before you know, I guess. Yeah, there's always a debate too. I was talking to some people like, I, I probably just won't even mention them, it's a thing. Yeah. And just, they're like, yeah, but like, we're just gonna celebrate family. And that's what this is about. Yeah. So I'm kind of liking where this is ending up here. Cool. Um, I'm keeping the door in this one. Mm -hmm. I've just got this like thing going on here. The got like kind of mission the images and stuff. So there's just stickers and little things that are kind of thrown up here. And yeah. I liked this um, this bar I went to. They didn't believe I was 21 though. <laughs> How did you prove it? <laughs> I gave them my ID and they were just like. <laughs> They're like, this is from Kansas. It's fake. <laughs> yeah. Well, they, so that was one thing they were like looking at like. Oh, and then they kept going, how old are you? And I was like 22. And I just had a birthday a couple weeks ago. I was mm -hmm. like 22. And they were like, they're like, you're 21. And I was like, if you can do your math, I'm 22. I'm like, how do you think I don't know how old I am? Mm -hmm. Like, what are, you, what are you saying? Man. That was the most annoying conversation. He was just looking up, like. It's like, scan it. I don't like, know. What do you want to do? what do you do? want from me? <laughs> like, that's my ID. Like, yeah. just let me in or leave me alone. Let me in. Just so go this to the is break. a spoiler. I was playing around with this little this little thing because it's another kind of like crucifix looking thing, and mm -hmm. it just I keep finding these like weird shapes in the images. I used to not really understand that when people would say like, oh, there's like a shape in the composition or like in art. And then I started taking art history classes, and you really see those underlying kind yeah, of shapes. And totally. I was a huge art history nerd. Oh, me too. I was a minor. I was going to be, so but I was fun. like. Is it worth it? <laughs> I don't know Probably why, not. it's just so interesting to me. So I'm gonna turn that invert layer on, do the, the normal thing we've been doing. I've just been bit mapping these and cutting them in half basically with the pixel count. That way we would get that weird grungy look in. Mm -hmm. um, we just gotta remember that these are see-through. So when I throw a backdrop on or something, I gotta remember that. Um, this one's getting through. pretty dark here. Yeah. It's very gray. See, it's fun with the threshold is interesting too because you can adjust how much white and black, even if it is a dark photo, like um, you can play around with the amount of stuff. Mm -hmm. Like when I was doing this Venice one, like it was a pretty dark sky and then I just pulled it back where you could barely see the sun and it blew out the sky. Yeah. So you're at that point of eventually it's gonna hit white or black. I mean, there's no in between, so you can kind of play. This one I left blank because there was this, I kind of had this real dark, you know, I wanted to get back to kind of a lighter one. Yep. And now here I'm thinking of having a another backdrop, probably something a little darker. Kind of want to end it because I want the cover, the back cover to be pretty plain. Gotcha. So this is that little, that little cross shape I was talking about. Very cool. So we're going to pull this. Whoa. Hey, excuse me? <laughs> Whoa. What is happening? What happened? Oh, it's because I'm on the oh, lasso tool. Oh, we selected it. I lasso that guy. Yeah. That is funny because yeah. you thought you were making <laughs> a square. Yeah, I, well, I couldn't really see it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, kind of like, where's the little cat? Like, a little, I always call it the ant trail or whatever. You know what like, we call it here? What do you guys call it? The marching ants. Marching ants, so yeah. So you got it, yeah. I think I probably, probably had heard that. So I'm kind of losing this. I'll think about what I want to do with this in a second to make that. Well, you can kind of see it on that screen. Yeah. My screen, you can't one. really see it. Hello. What I did earlier was I was taking all the letters that were in it, making them bold, and it kind of brought them to the front. But I don't think it really needs to be 
It kind of just isolates door, which is yeah. kind of the whole thing I'm going for. So door, kind of nice. Itself. Yeah, definitely. I'm getting all these happy accents, and I'm really liking it. That's a beautiful thing about these fast, like just kind of fun projects. Yeah, when you're not bogged down in all the decision making, because mm -hmm. sometimes that can slow you down, and you just lose your, you lose your like ideas and stuff. And mm -hmm. yeah, like in school there, I was talking like really just make, 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 like make fast, get all the bad ideas out if you need to. <laughs> yeah. Um, Cause eventually you're gonna end up with a good one. Mm -hmm. And I think that if you gave yourself a number, like, oh, I need to try 25 spreads, you're gonna get through those first 10 really easily. The second set of 10 are gonna be really hard. You're gonna hate it. And then yeah. the last five, you're gonna get so like witty and clever that you're gonna come up with at least one you like, mm -hmm. I think. You know, like that's kind of just how this yeah. That stuff happened. It's kind of weird. Oh man, I remember that was like you need at least a hundred sketches, mm -hmm. like before we can move on to even narrowing yeah. it down to ten options. Like, you I go through phases it. of like hopelessness, and <laughs> I love this one, but then you're like, oh, I got ninety nine more though. You know? <laughs> know. Like, sometimes I used to work so hard on one mm -hmm. and just overkill the one and then I'll be like, so now I got 50 more, okay. Eric is always talking down about himself. He's like, all of my, like it's all an accident what I do since I have no clue how to do my job. <laughs> Eric, that's not true. Do we all, it, like do any of us have any idea? So I like how these doors are kind of popping out too. Like mm -hmm. they're called, this one's so, so grand. This was a really smoggy day in Venice so it was already like not a clear photo. Yeah. But just add to that that grungy. That image was so picturesque. It looks almost like a little instant photo from the 60s or something. Yeah, I really liked that house. It was really cute. Mm -hmm. There's a dog that's really cute that lives there too. I love dogs. Does he own the house? Is he the man of the house? Dogs. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't I, don't know. I think she has a couple dogs. Oh, nice. Oh, this is, this is looking weird. Is that a face? We're getting weird. Yeah, that's a little Sean Penn sticker. Oh, right, right, right. I remember. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny from he was in Fast Times. Great movie. PG-13 kids, don't go watching that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we have anyone under 13 watching. Maybe we do. I hope not. Don't tell us. Well, I hope we do, but I hope he doesn't see that movie. <laughs> <laughs> He's not ready. Not ready. Do you remember not. seeing movies when you were younger that you're like, I shouldn't have seen that? <laughs> uh, I saw It when I was young and it scared the bejesus out of me. Yep. And I, I didn't even see the new one. I was like, no, never. <laughs> but I was kind of a wimp. I used to get scared of like the Headless Horseman, the Johnny Depp one. Me too. Or Spirited, or what was it called? Sleepy Hollow. Away. Sleepy Hollow. Spirited Away was so scary was too. Name, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw that as an older person, so it didn't really scare me as yeah. much. But it could, I could see how it was pretty scary. Right. It could be scary. I love it. Like it's one of my favorite books. So I like the Stephen movies. Stephen King, right? Mm -hmm. But it's scary. Heard good scary. things. The new one looks so pretty. This is like really weird how it's getting all white here. This is wacky, guys. The day that I saw the new one, I went home and went to sleep and woke up in the middle of the night and my bathroom door, oh, like, no. handle oh, no. unlocked itself and the door oh, no. just swung open. And that had never, ever happened. What? Don't be telling me And it never happened movies. again. I was like, well, I'm dead. I can never <laughs> sleep after scary movies. I don't know how you even do it. <laughs> I'm always like paranoid, like looking over my yeah. shoulder. I yeah. saw Hereditary like oh, I didn't see two or one. three months ago, and I'm still scared of it. Like that I still one. think about I've, it every day. I've heard that from multiple people that <laughs> that's like one of the scariest movies they've seen in a long time. And I don't even know the gist of the movie. Like, it's very strange. Like you wouldn't. Is it like so my dad went bald, so it's hereditary and it's scary, or is it like <laughs> something like that? <laughs> Something's it? hereditary. <laughs> FYI, my dad's not bold, so that's cool. <laughs> the true life. Shout out Pops, I love you. Aww. <laughs> so I'm kind of liking how light this one is too, but I, I, it's the pacing is just not not there for me, so I think mm -hmm. I'm gonna take this, um, and I think these lighter images, that'll work better too, so. Right now, since I know I'm gonna be doing that, I'm going to throw some white boxes. This is the cheater way of doing it. Oh, well, let's see you cheat. Well, usually you're not throwing bitmaps over other images, so this is not really a cheat way, it's just the only way mm -hmm. to get them to show up. Yeah, you're not cheating. Um, so right now I'm just gonna get all these grouped so it's easier to see them. Throw them behind, because I really like where they're sitting on the page already, so. Should be good to go. Cool. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna make sure that we're gonna be able to see them in a little bit. Yeah, no matter what. No matter what. <laughs> Joseph says, what's wrong with being bald, huh? 
nothing. No. It's just the scariness of hereditary stuff. I was yeah. trying to think of an example. That is like a, a hereditary can, thing. Some people can ref the bald look. Some people just, you know, like, I think I would look goofy bald. But <laughs> I have a neighbor. His name is Bob, and he's been bald. I'm just used to it, you know? Yeah. He, he That's looks Bob. good. Got a I good think head. Anyone <laughs> could ref it. You just gotta do it. Oops. Whoa. Oh, I added a page there. Voodoo Val yeah, says Hereditary is also the scariest movie she's ever seen, and she's a scary movie snob. It is a wow. cursed film. I think it's Babadook super... was one of the scariest movies I've seen. I've never seen it, but I went to. <sighs> That's a mental game, man. That one's just so dark. Oh. You're just like. <sighs> Does it make you scared to look in like closets and like under beds? I think it's more like it was. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it was just dark and twisted, and yeah. it just questioned like. The mother and her son thing is yeah. really weird. Okay. I did not. I've never seen that movie again. It's so <laughs> scary. Val Kidding. likes that movie. She says Baba Duke is does. a fantastic film. It's it's very different than any scary movie I've ever seen. Like, was not expecting it. Freaked me out. So I'm liking this. So I'm just gonna have to pick now a photo that's gonna go good in the background here. I'm trying to think. I wonder too if I can do like a make this type like um inverted or maybe i'll just do like another master page where it's white so if i do have like a dark background oh yeah it pops up and it creates like a silhouette yeah cut out. Cool. do you do that well you kind of do it there the white on the black yeah let's see it it only work on like this probably that page mm -hmm. and most likely this page for what i'm looking at. so i think i'm gonna pull this one i really like this photo um, it's one of my favorites that I've taken just because of all the mixing of colors that's there. And the I really like that sign. I was taking a lot of pictures of that sign, like different angles and stuff. Cool. It's a cool illustration. Oh, well, not too far back. Oh, thank you, Val, for the heads up. 12 minutes until we're going to be doing our final portfolio review. It is actually the final countdown right now. Got 11. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Okay, so I don't beep, 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 beep. Where did it go? Uh, but yeah, 11 minutes until we're going to be checking out two of your portfolios. So if you are working on getting your portfolio updated and submitted, make sure you do that very quickly. Please. Yes, 11 minutes. Ready. Yes. Oh and we get to gosh. put on some fun helmets. Oh, yeah. That's, mm -hmm. that's what I'm most excited about. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying them on but backstage before. I was mm -hmm. like, backstage. Backstage. So fancy. Yeah, this studio is really cool compared to the other one. Like we have an actual green room. Another room with a door that you can sit in? What? Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Double room. In the other studio, they just had couches in the room, and you just had to like sit and be really quiet. Little tiny. OK, so let's go. I'm doing this to the invert layer again. Just the theme of this. OK, so I'm going to threshold and adjustments, and that's going to knock out all this color. Mm -hmm. And I'm wanting to go a little darker, kind of liking where that sky is hitting that tree. And this is all just subjective, like where you want this to hit, like how much do I want to show? I want to keep the face in there. And this guy looks, I like this little thing that's going on. That one's pretty dark. So I'm going to grab that. And as always, we're going to bitmap this. Boom. I first learned about bitmapping when designing t-shirts, because that was like one of the only ways you could actually get a photograph printed. Yeah, it's kind of like, it makes sense for printing processes for mm -hmm. sure, because it's just that layer and you can see through it. So it kind of creates this like, definitely you can preview stuff and mm -hmm. see how it's gonna work. Yeah. So let's throw this guy into this background. And I think what I'm gonna have to do is make this type white again, which I haven't done. I've only done once. Right, right, right. So I think that'll be nice to have it in another spot. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I whoa. like how this is, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. So somehow, so there we go. So we want to put that back there. Oh, I see. So I'm still getting the Hollywood here, which is cool. Mm -hmm. I like that that's sticking through. And I think, yeah, I'm gonna go try and make that second. Um, what's going on here? What's happening? I'm gonna pull that there. Oh, we gotta make this bigger. <laughs> I'm just gonna. You're not supposed to do this, people, but I'm just gonna stretch that. Because it's, it's already distorted, like, yeah. what am I going to do? Corrupt it! What are we going to do? And we're getting this cool, like, frame in a frame thing over here. Is I'm blocking it. Really weird. There we go. Oh, <laughs> you can see it. <laughs> so I'm going to go in. 
This is what I was talking about earlier. I just learned that you can do this guy and this guy. Makes your life easy. That's amazing. It's like selecting an illustrator and just changing the color. Mm -hmm. Boom. Exactly. Yeah, so all those people that are like, I don't like in design, you can basically do everything that you can do in illustration. Mm -hmm. yep. so I'm gonna make this white too, and just see what that does. Oscar is giving you a friendly reminder to Command S. Command S, always, boom. Mm -hmm. Done. So now we're losing this, like, this is getting real weird. It is. <laughs> did we lose door? We did. So I wanna make sure that I can see that. It's also in the back, I think. There we go. Where but I want it? this black to kind of, I need more of that over here so I can see. So Ooh. maybe we do some of this guy. And maybe we just like do Whoa. something like that. What? Looking real weird. I kind of like having this white. It's almost like in middle ground of this and this. It's yeah. pushing that there. Yeah. But I think I want to I wanna find that spot where it still shows enough door of passage there. It's weird because I don't remember what this was. I think it was a building top. Oh, there we get door there. Couldn't tell ya. There's something, something. Morgan says, the zine is dope. Yo, thank you. Okay. Is that Morgan? Oh, Morgan Stevens. Is that Morgan? She's Rachel's. I, both, I used to work with both of them at Design Ranch. Shout no way. Them. She's the one who started Swaggy Boy. <laughs> so that's a thing. Swaggy Boy. Why? Yeah, that was my nickname. <laughs> what did you do to be so swaggy? I don't know. I just, uh, just swaggy, I guess. I don't know. Just, it's a lifestyle. It's the truth. <laughs> yeah, it's a lifestyle. <laughs> so I'm kind of digging this. Like, what's going on here with this, like, overlap? I kind of want to make the amount of this overlap the same um, here, and that's just because I'm OCD. Are you now? I'm OCD and working in a very uncomfortable way for myself. Ah. But I, oh, I lost the little, um... Sean Penn? Sean Penn, but maybe I can live with that. I he's hidden. Know. You know he's there. I know he's there, <laughs> and it's just, yeah. He's so cool in that, though. Maybe I can pull this down. Would you even be able to see him? Probably not. Uh, no. <laughs> Little figure. We're gonna sacrifice it. I'm kind of digging like that with this weird, like, it just looks unfinished and yep. like split. Yeah. And it kind of saves this a little. The 15. Yeah, it's just like, just embracing that right. ugly. We lost Hollywood, but. Oh, we did. I guess it's okay. Or you could drag it. Well, I guess you can't drag it because it's a master. Yeah, maybe we, then maybe we do stick with that. See, now I still have that door. Could you just cut the photo? Like, make a white box? On the right? On the right. So you don't have to actually move the photo. You just make like a white bar there. Ah, yeah, just pull the frame in. Mm -hmm. That's from the decipher what you meant there. I kinda, I might just go in and do this, um, that white. So yeah. I'm gonna go back to my masters here. Let's see you do it. And just duplicate master spread. So that gives me the B master. Okay. And I'll go in here and I'll make B white. And so then let's go back to 15. We're gonna pull the B over here. That's how you do it. Uh -huh, okay. But it's also behind this photo. <laughs> so I think we're losing it still. Send it to the back. Yeah, I thought that would work. Can you kind I of? I guess this is just solid pixel. I mean, maybe what I could do is just throw it in there for that page also. It's funny because it was showing up kind of earlier. Right. Oh, I think we were gonna try that thing too where um, Maybe I'll do some like effects on this and see if the transparency or something will, will work. Like if I do screen. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna have to start playing and seeing. I don't think that did anything. Darn. It's hard because I can't even see what I'm doing. There we go. Effects. Let's see. Usually saturation or like hue will work mm -hmm. or exclusion, but I don't think they've been working with these bitmaps right. for some reason because they're not the same as a photo. Oh. That kind of got it. I know, it's just because I can see it. Mm -hmm. Dang it. So why is it behind? I'm so confused. I know. Well, the, the page number um, goes behind no matter what. Okay. Because it's when it's on a master page, it's going to throw it to the back. Mm -hmm. So I think what I'm going to do is just go here. Um, oh, I guess it's just this. The page number. I wonder, can you just put the page number? Like, can you go like... Edit and paste in place there. And and okay, so now the exclusion stuff's working because it's yeah, on the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 
Maybe what I'm seeing is if we make this the exclusion. We're kind of getting there. Oh, 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 oh. Screen. Hey. There we go. Screen alert. Boom. I love the problem solving. That's great. Yeah. The, you just got to figure out those layers. What's what's messing with what mm -hmm. there? And it's kind of interesting. Yeah, I'm really liking this page now too. It's kind of a nice break from this. And I think if we wanted to go pacing wise through these, you can kind of see that we have this dark again, then kind of a medium, then a light. Then I'm dark again, and then we're gonna go to the whitish. I really just wanted to keep the back back cover simple. Yeah. Um, just with that that little cross, and it kind of harps on the one in the front too. Yeah. I really just like that hotel sign too, so it's just a little personal preference there. Stick but it on yeah, there. so I'm kind of so if we just like want to rifle through these now, we've got like a real light one, and it kind of gets a little darker here. Mm -hmm. We're kind of losing some type up in. So I'm pointing with my finger. You guys can't see <laughs> right there. I can. Um, but I'm kind of digging like with these weird page numbers that this one looks like it's floating in the water here. I uh, can't see. We can't see. <laughs> maybe we can switch to the other side. Or maybe I can zoom. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Easy. So that little go. five there is kind of like doing its little mm -hmm. floaty. Uh, this is actually better. You guys can see it. Um, yeah, I like where this sits. I think I had this in mind for this one, but I think where, how it translates across. So this would be another thing where I could try to see if I, I bet if I screened this, I would get um, mm -hmm. that, that Hollywood, Hollywood Babylon. to come in. So let's see if we can go into effects. And this is where, I love playing with like this stuff and these effects are in all like Photoshop, yep. Illustrator, and the blending design. Modes. So it's really nice once you kind of understand what, what they screen do. does or whatever. Yeah. And whatever you're using. I remember I was talking to like a Photoshop engineer and he was trying to explain to me what actually those things are doing and I was just like I don't get it I'm just gonna try them all every time <laughs> yeah but that's just how you learn too. yeah yeah I'm gonna try that for this one too I think so I'm gonna screen this and then I'm gonna throw the the B master in there oh no oh no <laughs> what did I do oh I added a page <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I want I want to apply that hey, so that worked too we yeah, got the yeah, 11 yeah. in there so that screen idea is working. So now I think on that B master, well, this one actually shows up because it's black. I might create another one for, do we lose any more of those? For this, maybe make one where this is white and it pops, but I really don't think it's necessary. We have this stuff going here. Yeah. That's just a little nitpicky thing. So this is just that tightening up. It's, it's just like you want to make those choices, whatever you think. So you can go back to this pacing I was talking about. So it was real light, kind of came into this medium, darker, really dark, with the little zebra guy. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then we have the Trump one. <laughs> I like that. And I've been kind of throwing these pencil kind of guys in here too. And yeah. I got lucky again, like I threw the pencil in first. Mm -hmm. And then if you can see here, it almost like lined up perfectly into this end. Yep. And it kind of mimicked the, the power lines. Really so, cool. Yeah, it just comes in and I did this little guy here just harping on the square kind of thing that's happening. Yeah. And that's my favorite spread. I know, this one was, that was another happy accident, that weird. So if anyone wants to know that you can go to type on the path tools mm -hmm. and you want to go to options there and it's on the side and it'll be gravity will suck these guys like in. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure how it would work with other shapes yet. Right. I'm guessing if you did a circle, it would kind of do that. Mm -hmm. But I'm wondering if you did like a curve. Like yeah, just a line. If what it would, would kind of go back and forth, mm -hmm. what it would do. So that's always just something to play with too there. And I think if I really had time, I would go and make all these numbers like really gr like kind of gritty too. Yeah. Maybe we can. Oh, we have all the dead ones over. Yeah, <laughs> good call. Time's up. It is about but time. But I feel like we're in a good spot here. Totally, and after we do some portfolio reviews, we can come back and just really yeah. wrap up everything, all three days. Cool. But it's about time for us to go to space. We're gonna check out some portfolios from our space station, so why don't you come along? Ho oh, oh. <laughs> ho. Oh, I thought that was gonna be cooler. Do you wanna have your moment? 
your cool space moment. I just want to keep it on. For okay, moment. you can. I just like doing this. Good, you cannot okay. see me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those are really fun, though. I need to get one of those. You should. Halloween. There okay. you go. Uh, welcome to our Adobe Live Space Station. Welcome. Everything okay on the journey? Yeah, it was a long flight, but yeah. I'm a little jet lag. We were asleep for a couple <sighs> years, but, you know. Cryo Some sleep is good cryo sleep. Fluid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can see behind us on our Stretching. control panel that we have a wonderful portfolio that we're going to take a peek at. This is Julio Freitas portfolio. Julio, are you here? Let us know. Julio, Julio is nice. in Brazil. And before actually jumping into the, the projects, let's look at just what he provides. Because if we're art directors wanting to hire Julio, mm -hmm. do we have the info that we need? Um, to get in mm -hmm. contact with him. So let's see what he says. He says he's a designer. In Sao Paulo. That's yeah. Cool. We got a focus. We got some links and about me. So we have some skills. Awesome. Kind of like a little bit of a resume. Nice. And awesome. I think the only thing we're really missing is an email address. I don't see one. Does he have a website? Not A little link. No. Oh. He does have Instagram, oh, Instagram and, and LinkedIn. Though. LinkedIn. I'm sure it's there. Yeah, so Julio, we'd love to see an email address and hopefully a website as well mm -hmm. to see more of your work and contact info. Um, it seems like he does like advertising. Yeah, that Coke one's really, I love that little detail, it's really calling this out one? to me. Yeah, okay. like that. Which one? Okay. Oh, okay. Maybe. There's, it's interesting. Let's do this Eco Sport 2018 because it also has some fun colors going oh. on. Wow, this I'm wondering. This is festive for Ford. This is cool. Yeah, Ford. So, Julio, is this real or is it more of like a concept that you just did on your own? I'd love to know. That's pretty nice. I really like the the framing he's doing with those um, images. They have like the corners cut yep. on two sides. It's really awesome. interesting. Mm -hmm. Here and there, and there. It almost makes the photo feel like in like a little endless. Like so, look, like I'm looking at that steering wheel one. It mm -hmm. just like creates this nice diagonal with the diagonal kind of pattern yep. you're using. Really cool. Cool. There's even like some um, really faded imagery mm -hmm. in the background here that acts like a pattern. Um, yeah, I just saw that as you were pointing it out. Do you think this is a spread? Like there should be a gutter here? I think probably. Mm -hmm. yeah, it looks like a spread. It could be also just be like a landscape poster. It looks yeah. like a poster to me. Mm -hmm. But I think it could be a like. Looking at where that photo falls and stuff, it yeah. looks like it could be a spread and they have that type at the bottom. Right, right, right. Exactly. Cool. So I love to kind of format this in a way of like, what do you think is really working? And then something that um, mm -hmm. they could try or some new ideas. I really think for a, for a car, this is working well. It's like enough um, kind of legitimate stuff and really like scientific kind of... Um, what do you call it? Just really refined looking yeah. stuff. And it goes well with like the technology aspect of the car. And mm -hmm. you've also got the really cool like expressive stuff with the guitar and then that that kind of painted texture type and yeah. the the nice. powder stuff. Mm -hmm. It's a really cool like um, mix of mix of imagery. It makes me like really interested in Yeah. In I wish I could read Spanish. Yeah, I know, me too. Um, really cool. But I do think to your point, especially with like automobiles, safety is a huge mm -hmm. issue. So I know that advertising needs to like, it needs to be fun and like exciting, but also like that needs to look legit. Yeah, it needs to like, you want to trust it, you know, mm -hmm. you wanna really, you want to really feel that. I think the only thing to me, like the, to me, it's really nice. And I, the only thing that's kind of grabbing my eye that kind of sticks out is that GPS is like kind mm -hmm. of a, um, like a, PNG, like a transparent mm -hmm. thing on there and doesn't yeah. have a background. But I don't know how else you would do that. Maybe yeah. just giving it a little more breathing room as compared to the um, other photos. Yeah. Like just a little, yeah, maybe. But besides that, there's right. nothing that's really... I really like this um, cascading kind of type where it's not all left aligned. And yeah. And it kind of really seems like it's like how you would talk about it, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's some movement, some fun there. Mm -hmm. Nice. Cool. Really nice. Good job, Julio. Um, anything else jump out to you? Let's look at like two more. Mm, trying to see what that one. A lot of Ford stuff, it seems legit. A lot of car stuff in general. What's Redox? This one? 
Yeah, the Smirnoff one too looks interesting. But I, think oh. I just want to drink. Oh, it's a little, uh, <laughs> a little like Alka Seltzer pill or something. Got it's you. Kind of cool. <laughs> I like the, the little monsters. Mm -hmm. that are like, they're like, get the hell out of here. That reminds me of, if anyone's ever seen, uh, um, Toy Soldiers. Toy Soldiers. That's a scary <laughs> movie. <laughs> that is a scary <laughs> that movie. That should be a horror movie. <laughs> that is such a scary movie. When I first saw that, I liked it as a kid, and then mm -hmm. the older I got, I was like, this is just creepy. It scared it's me. Wrong. I remember we saw it for my brother's birthday, and I was like, yeah, What's I've always had a on? thing with dolls. I don't like dolls. I, I had a nightmare about a doll last night. But for for the client, this looks really cool. It's like for bear. It looks like mm -hmm. for an aspirin. So. Yeah. And it's like getting. I like the the imagery. It's getting rid of the um, the toxins, the monsters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it kind of reminds me of Toy Soldiers because the monsters look like it too. Yeah. These guys. <laughs> one guy. Totally. Yeah, like the one that gets like torn apart. The, <laughs> the spoilers. Just beat them all up. <laughs> Oh yeah, so, no spoilers if anyone hasn't seen it. <laughs> um, this is really interesting to see because it's very out of the work that I would ever be a part of, like this very corporate mm -hmm. advertising campaign. But it um, seems playful. Like, yeah. It's definitely bringing in like a playful and intriguing aspect to a lot of his stuff if he could draw like a theme throughout. Like, totally. He definitely draws you into to it. There's enough going on, but it's not too much. Mm -hmm. and, even the type's really clear. Like, yeah. that's my biggest thing is when, I like to work with white space because I like to have a place to put the type and he really like, he's got these little frames that he just mm -hmm. saw and he just put it right there. It's perfect. Totally, and this nice like blurred out bokeh background is perfect for putting mm -hmm. crisp type on top of. Yeah, like the table, he's using that table as like this, this frame. Mm -hmm. And it's, yeah, it's, it's like just enough. It's not taking away from the imagery, mm -hmm. and it's it's calling your attention to what's happening, not the background. The blur actually yeah. helps a lot. Very cool. Let's look at good choices for when he's, when mm -hmm. he's coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know like there's a lot of specificity that like Bayer would send you and be like, you can't like do this. It has to be have this size. You to have this type. And yeah. Yeah. Which is I think he he used that well. Mm -hmm. That one too at the bottom looks pretty nice. Which the, one? The really intricate type one. Let's check it out. Intense. I like that type he did. Ooh. No, uh, so it looks like this is like bath illustrations products. Illustrations are cute too. Mm -hmm. yeah, those are cool. The use of the towel in like that um, that kind of imagery and how how it translates yeah. to the to the soaps and stuff is really nice. I think it's supposed to be sand. Ah, it is sand. Yeah, which is really Whoa. crazy that it's like colored sand. That's cool. That's like Amazing. that Buddha vibes. Mm-hmm. That looks so cool. I really like how he used the, he just multiplied that over the sand and it created this cool um, depth to it. Yep, definitely. Never would have thought of using that in a, in a, um, in a campaign. That's so cool. Yeah, right. So there's some small changes. I'm assuming mm -hmm. that it's like different formulations or scents. Yeah, the type changes a little bit mm -hmm. too. It's cool. It's really simply done and it's really clear. Yeah. It's, it's nice. I like his like. He's got kind of a playful theme that's not like too whimsical. It's mm -hmm. not gonna lose you. It's gonna make you trust the products. Yeah. It's nice. It has a natural, um, kind of authentic feel yeah. to it. I prefer this type treatment here mm -hmm. to that one. I know it's like different words, but. Yeah, I like the red too. Mm -hmm. The blue is nice too. Yeah, just on the same background. Right. Of. The blue is difficult because you don't see blue really anywhere else. Like this is uh -huh. cool, but it's more of a purpley. Yeah, and I'm sure if he could have like just added a different background for blue, mm -hmm. could have added. So some here's effects. the blue. Yeah, these are really cool. Nice. I wish I could actually paint sand. That would be cool. Yeah, magic. Cool, Julio. Thank you so much for submitting your work. You have some really awesome advertising work in here. <laughs> I like Joseph. He's like, they are so good. Yeah, I, I hate like, this. It's too good. <laughs> it's like. Give me some room, guys. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. Nice show, Julio. I haven't seen yeah. your name in chat, but thumbs up. Alrighty, yeah, let's move on to our next one. This is by Vianney Van Scoit uh, in Mexico. Cool. So Vianney, I think, has been in chat. I think I remember seeing your name. We got a focus, graphic design, type, and textile design. What a combo. 27-year-old mm -hmm. teenager. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. It's the state of mind you got to be in. Mm hmm. Look at a couple that are definitely like really cool. Like, right. standing out. Before even jumping into them, I'm just looking at this um, yeah. info box, and it definitely has a playful, younger feel. 
um, it feels almost like an Instagram Follow bio. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I like it. It's kind of like MySpace. Perhaps. Yeah, exactly. The it's, little old school emoji. Mm -hmm. The the winky. And yep, the, the cat face. The cat face, yeah. Totally. <laughs> cool. Good old middle school days. So which one do you want to look at first? I'm really drawn to the uh, the lettering Tenta E. What is that? Cezanne? Cezanne? This one? Oh. <laughs> it's like, looks like those old 60s kind of posters from that little clip. And I like this. I think she's showing her inspiration. Oh, uh, yeah. Where she was drawing those imagery from, those, mm -hmm. those paper patterns. I've seen those before. Yeah, like the flags. Mm-hmm. Really cool. Paco, do you know, is there a specific word for these? Looks like Day of the Dead stuff. Yeah. Because there's a lot of one. skulls going on. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. So I like that mood board, definitely. You can see where she is pulling her inspiration from. And then the sketch is beautiful. Definitely. Type sketches. Oh, we Look can all fangirl about some type sketches, can Yeah. We? Or just so get nice. angry about it. Look at that. Her. That's cool. <laughs> I love that Z, the, the E, like the and in the middle, mm -hmm. is pushing those two letters. Yeah. And they're wrapping around it. That's really cool. Looks so nice. And here's the finished. Oh, and the gradient one. I love that. It, it really looks like one of those little paper, like, mm -hmm. tapestry things. Yeah. That's so cool. That would be cool to make those. Yeah, like Some by hand. Cut thing. I wonder if they have templates for those, do you think? Just to, like, cut through the... Because that paper is really thin, mm -hmm. that, like, tissue paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet it'd be almost impossible to take a razor blade mm -hmm. to it. And not, like, you'd be holding it down, and then you'd lift and just tear it yep. or something. I've done you that before. You have to be so careful. I never worked with tissue paper after that. <laughs> You'd have to like layer it between two pieces of like tracing paper and like ah. cut it all together. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so it's literary Problem stories solving. whose fragments allude to typical Mexican food. Oh, that's cool. Awesome. So we see the process, which is always great to see on a Behance project. Uh -huh. um, do you feel like you are, are seeing everything that you'd want to see? Mm, for this? I would want to see a little more of the other. I'm sure she had other options too that she mm -hmm. was probably narrowing down. There's a little bit of like variation with this one. Yeah. Um, but I think that one almost looks like a baseball team. With yeah. The y, the E in the middle. It looks like a baseball. But I think, um, yeah, I think just maybe showing those other sketches, the looser ones, and we're and coming in. I know like in my behinds, I don't do that as much either. Mm -hmm. And I think on my website, I do a little more. I go in and throw in the PDF, the yeah. process PDF. But it's hard, like I understand not wanting to put all that because it's, it's not pretty, but it's like definitely make, helps us understand how you got to this because yeah. I'm sure that, see there's one down there, I'm sure there was multiple mm -hmm. that she's playing with and even that one that's less rigid on the very top and yeah. the sketch is beautiful too, so. Definitely. There's always that process of real loose, like my composition sketches yesterday, mm -hmm. really loose. Just and then sometimes I'll print out like a template to kind of tighten it up. So mm -hmm. if I really need to decipher what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really cool. I love seeing the mood board and where it came from. Mm -hmm. It's helpful. That, like, yeah. Um, I think my only real feedback is we see a lot of like very large sketch work and, and process work. But then when we get down to the final, it's kind of like, which one is it? Like I just see a bunch mm -hmm. of versions and then a very small on black at the end. Mm -hmm. I wish I it really she had. Really couldn't like make it for real, probably. But yeah. It been so cool to see like a mock-up. Right. Or, something or like just that. like a real hero shot of it. Like you could do the hero at the top, or just a really large, mm -hmm. boom. This yeah, is and it. Maybe pulling those full bleeds so you know where like the attention's going. That'd mm -hmm. be cool. But this is beautiful. I love this work. Yeah. She it's says it was. The fence and the crease yeah, is going. Yeah, you I love, love it. that. Said it was based on Day of the Dead and typical Mexican yeah. food. Yeah, it's so cool. Cool. So I see some people in the chat wanting to look at this esports one. Okay. okay. All right, all right. We live in this world now where esports is huge. Yeah, we gotta like, accept it. I watched one of those once. They're doing. Uh, I can't remember the name of the game. My buddies Carter and Maddie are really into it. Um, Overwatch. That's what it oh, was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They had like a turn, and they were bringing them out like like a football team. You know, yeah, like, with like we the have fog this cannon. Team and they're all walking out. <laughs> I was like, dang, this is legit. Yeah. So this looks like branding for a team. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Some sponsors. I think it's cool. It go. It definitely reminds me of like something that would be like esports. Like it's got that kind of like video game monster kind of thing. Yeah. The type is really. Like how was, er, the monster kind of reminds me of uh, those old ones, Halo and stuff like oh, that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And I like the team like lineup there with all the images. Like, it is hard to work with um, just the the headshots. Mm -hmm. And she did a good job of creating a consistency throughout. Because I know like 
sometimes when you're working with different, when you're working with multiple people getting shots that are all the same, sometimes someone's sick on the day you're shooting, you have to shoot them separate. Yeah, yeah. So, and I think it all ties together well. You keep that orange mm -hmm. throughout. Yeah, the branding overall is pretty nice. I love these ones. They almost look like little Instagram posts, mm -hmm. but I'm just like drawn in by this powerful dynamic at the top and the copy. Yeah, it is. It's very, yeah, it's, it draws you in. I like that it's not all just like kind of the same framework. Mm -hmm. You know, she's using the frame sometimes. Sometimes it's just a gradient. Sometimes yeah. it's the people. Um, it's good. It's, a, it's cohesive without having to be repetitive, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I feel like I my only major feedback is kind of just how the project is laid out itself. Mm -hmm. We see all of these tiles at the top and um, and then this kind of bottom banner. And I guess I'm just kind of confused at like the hierarchy. Like what, mm -hmm. where are these going to be used? Like, is it going to be on a computer screen, on a phone? What is the main thing and what's yeah, the side a, stuff? Like what I was saying the other day, presentation is a huge factor. Mm -hmm. You can have an amazing project like this and if it's unclear, um, that stuff to to the viewer, I think mm -hmm. it's easy when we we know our own project, we know what it is, yeah. throw it in front of people. But I think yeah, just kind of structuring this a little more pacing and more reveal because it's it's all at once and it's great. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it'd be nice to kind of build it up and and really see those pieces and how they're interacting with the audience. Yeah, so. yeah, I like your idea of reveal. Like, mm -hmm. how are you telling this story? Mm -hmm. You just get it all at once and it's. Mm -hmm. It's still really cool though. Yeah, it's I've never actually seen like a project like this, which is kind of cool. It's like very, very in the now. Yeah, which is cool. Right, nice job. So uh, actually, the team changed their image, and now they're called X10 Esports. Oh, ah, okay. Gotcha. Predator sounds cooler. Yeah, I know. What happened to Predator? Predator sounds way cooler. Man, well, thank you, Vianney. Really appreciate you submitting your work. You have beautiful illustration and design work. Yeah, I'm gonna go check her. I was really looking at that bottle branding down too. Oh yeah, that one below. Super it's got cool. that black letter going, and mm -hmm. it's all. It looks like uh, calligraphic, like hand done stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that chat. Cool. You can check out Viani's work if you just click on her little icon. You can go straight to her portfolio. Same for Julio. Um, we're gonna go back down to space and wrap up the stream at the moment. Down to Earth. Oh, yep. <laughs> we're gonna go down to the other space. <laughs> back down to the. The gutters. Yeah, business. definitely. So we have maybe like five-ish minutes to wrap mm -hmm. stuff up before we need to say goodbye. I forgot what we were gonna do. Oh yeah, I was gonna add some textures to those numbers, see what I can play with. Right, and we'll have to do that yes. super quick because we still need yeah. to go over just everything you've done oh, the past three days. Oh, should we just do that? Maybe we should just do that. Okay, we can, idea. I'll wrap that up. Cool. So you want me to start with the studies? Sure. Should we go all the way back to the Yeah, just like what is your idea? How did you get started? Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So the idea, in a nutshell, <laughs> was so I, as I was saying, I recently moved to California and I think everyone has this idea of what it is before they've gone. Mm -hmm. um, I'd been to San Fran when I was 17, but it was a long time ago and I was only here for, for a little. I didn't I didn't actually live like downtown, so mm. um, I didn't get that, that much exposure and really living day to day in like a new place. Yeah. You really see like everything about it. And I really wanted to just call that attention um, yeah. to just like not everything is just as, as perfect as it seems here. And um, that's that's true everywhere. It's just, especially California gets that rap of, mm. oh, it's so nice. And you see the move to California yeah. commercials it's and it's so nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I really just wanted to flip that on its head and be like, yeah, but also it's like it's like this, and it's like that's dirty. just real. Yeah, it's just like how it is, mm -hmm. um, and it's not in, in a negative light. It's just like this is stuff that I see and take pictures of, and I this is the kind of feeling that I'm trying to evoke mm -hmm. of what it can be. And obviously, it's pretty nice most of the day, so it's really not this dark and gloomy. Yeah, like what I'm making it look, but it's also I think a cool just, part of it too. Yeah, I think just playing on that idea of not everything's bright and shiny, you know. Mm -hmm. So like I was saying, I started with my little word list and that's how I was coming up with these images and started with this and I was pulling in like movie scripts because of that and show posters and the language that I was using from that poetry book is very much about just arts and on all media kind of mm -hmm. like that and it's kind of just used for us to kind of like, like to block off all that real stuff and yeah, yeah, yeah. create this facade so. I just wanted to go for this kind of look and this old like analog kind of look and I'm mm -hmm. recreating an analog look, not analog. Yeah. But you know, it's funny and 
how I started, I was narrowing down and I, these were all my photos that I was using. So pulling awesome. those together and just that process was really nice. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that the language that I was using and the imagery really complemented each other in this idea. Right. So when it started to come together, I mean, like I was saying, I started with just all these covers. I was just rattling off like a bunch of different ones, like as fast as I could, getting ideas using the shadowing. Yeah, that's cool. Like the darker behind, and I think that came into play later on more with just the images in themselves versus mm -hmm. the type, because I really wanted to book that emotion of the underbelly, the dark side yeah. of this stuff. And so when you're when you're playing it like this, it's really nice to just do them quick copy and paste, do another one. Yeah, and so I just started here and just started copying, adding something, moving something, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Getting that out of the system. And most of them turn out, you know, not what I wanted and that's just okay. <laughs> cool, and then you moved on to your final cover in the spreads. Mm -hmm. So I pulled that one cover and I started to pull these pieces together of this blown out um, black letter type. And when it was all congested, it reminded me of kind of these fences and wiry stuff that yeah, I see everywhere. Wire. And um, so using that type less legibly and more visually mm -hmm. um, as kind of a symbol and kind of a, just invoking that new wave kind of style of, of design where you want to focus on the emotion more. Yep, yeah. Which is always fun. So you can go back through here and go take a look at the whole thing. So Let's do it. I started off with those, those covers and that kind of gave me the use of this type of the Helvetica, the Baskerville, and the black letter. Mm -hmm. And the way I was gonna handle my images, I was playing with the image, making it negative, so I'm flipping everything, yeah. basically. It's this flipping it, flipping it on its head kind of thing. Yeah, and that carries through the entire thing. Mm -hmm. And you're just making it kind of in your face like this, like I'm using all these typical things that you would use in a zine kind of in the opposite way. So it's just everything I can do the opposite way that it can be done, <laughs> yeah. I'm probably doing it. Probably the only thing that's normal is the little footer. Yeah. Not making a vertical, which is not that, not that crazy. <laughs> not, no, yeah, it's a little sum sum. But like we're saying, focusing on the pacing, I started pretty light, mm -hmm. and it started to progressively get to this darker yeah. and darker, more and cluttered, darker. Uh -huh. and then kind of bringing it back around mm -hmm. and best spread. Giving the eyes a break, you know, you mm -hmm. don't want to just overkill it every time, or people will just be over it. And yeah. And then this is the final one we did today, if we can want to look at that in a, in a complete. And I, yeah. I liked where it kind of resulted with that composition and where it fell. I mean, we're getting a lot of these little happy accidents of how things are yeah. falling and interacting with each other. Right, I love that. It's really fun and spontaneous. So. Cool, and you've got that back cover. Mm -hmm. And the little back cover, just top oh. it off. Keep it simple, mm -hmm. just a little little symbol there. And I love that. That motel's actually closed now, which is sad. Oh. It's so cool. I love the, yeah. I love that little, like, it's like canvassed over that. Um, Man. The existing sign. Uh-huh. Whatever that is, they have this, like, tied down. And That's very cool. It's really cool. I see it every day when I go to work, so I just had to, yeah. had to throw it in there. It's, it's like my, my view of the, mm -hmm. this That's all experience. you know about it. Mm -hmm. Man, that's awesome. So chat, give Ashton some mad props for getting this all done. And we perfectly timed it. Yeah, it up. incredible. And we want to see awesome. this actually printed out. We got to see how those bitmaps mm -hmm. actually do on paper. Uh, Kirsten says, yeah. it's a graphic delight. Yeah, we want to keep it that <laughs> half. I want to do an eight and a half by 11 cut in half. So mm -hmm. that'll be nice because each of these pages can just be printed on an eight and a half by 11. And yeah. then this can be folded up. Yeah. Um, I think it's really just cutting out all the all the options. You know, it's really keeping it yeah. simple. and. Cheap. I think it can, yeah, and it'll be cheaper because it'll be standard paper. Mm -hmm. It'll be fun, and I think maybe picking like a, like a more off-white stock. Oh, cool. To add to that. Awesome. Franchise. So if you want to check out more of Ashton's work, we have all the links in chat. His website is Behance. Go check it out. Mm -hmm. Give him a follow. Uh, this is the last stream for Adobe Live for the week, but we'll be back tomorrow morning at 8:30 with Howard for the XD Daily Creative Challenge. And then next <laughs> week we'll be back with more Adobe Live. We're going to be focusing on XD. So make sure you get that downloaded. Try I'm it out. Check that out too, because I haven't played with that yet. But you I'm definitely really should. That looks really fun. Awesome. So everyone, have a great weekend. Ashton, mm -hmm. thanks for being here. Thank you guys. This was so fun. Yeah. Thank you Loved for it. being you, chat. We appreciate you. And, and thanks for the love, chat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll see you soon. Bye.